Hi everyone, my name is Emily and if you're checking out this video, you're probably getting close to a final version of your resume. However, before you hit the submit button, let's spend a few minutes talking about formatting do's and don'ts. How you format your resume can influence what information the reader retains, so you really want to have a well-formatted and organized resume to make it more attractive, help draw attention to the content, and enhance readability. Putting it plainly, if your resume is less than pretty, the hiring manager isn't going to want to look at it. We have six basic formatting rules to follow. First, one page is ideal, especially for a resume early in your career. If you do go over the one page, make sure that whatever is on the second page is relevant to the position you're applying for. The important thing is to research your industry and know what is acceptable for length. Two, you can change margins to gain space, but never go under 0.5 inches. Three, fonts should never be smaller than size 10. Don't use any crazy fonts and make sure that you keep your audience in mind and your document is legible. Four, use bolding and italics to bring your eyes to certain areas. For example, maybe the position title is bold and the company is in italics or vice versa. Make sure that you avoid overusing this as it can become distracting. Five, when formatting your resume, you want to be as current as possible and think of it as, what have you done for me lately? All of your sections will be in reverse chronological order with the most recent jobs, clubs, volunteering, or honors listed first. Six, make sure that you keep the formatting consistent throughout the entire resume. Now let's take a look at the resume with great content, but as you can see, not so great formatting. Things are all over the place here. There's a couple of things that are bolded, but it doesn't look like it's consistent. Things are all over the place, left and right. There's nothing easy to read, and there's nothing in here that just jumps out and says, hey, I'm really important, look at me. Look at me first. I'm truly the person you want to hire. If we want to take a look at this, exact same content, but this time in a great resume. Take a look at this here. So looking at it, we've got bold, we've got underline, we've got italics being used, things are left justified. If you take a look at the right hand side, it's not a complete block, so it draws your eyes down the page. Things here are organized and it's consistent throughout the entire resume. So for example, if the job title is bold here, then all the job titles in the resume should be bold. Same goes then for the dates. If you spell out a month, or if you abbreviate it, or if you list fall or spring, you want to make sure that you're keeping that the same throughout the entire resume. Section headings are entirely up to you, but in this example here, we've got education, skills, community involvement listed. You can also include things like relevant work experience, or be more specific and include sections that are going to be like coaching experience, global experience, honors, things that are going to be specific to your field and the position that you're applying for. When it comes to formatting your resume, you want to be original, but you want to follow suit. So don't use a fill-in-the-blank or a template resume. This really shows a lack of creativity, it's an inability to do something from start to finish, and it looks unprofessional. So for additional resources, be sure to check out our Get Hired Guide, which looks like this. It's available in the bookstore, and the exact resume that you're looking at for Hannah Helper is on page 27 of this year's guide. Otherwise, check out our website.